What do we say to the god of full intros? Not today. There's been some very unfortunate news to start off this week, as a study by researchers from the British Antarctic Survey have looked at detailed satellite imagery to find that the Halle Bay colony of Emperor Penguins in the Weddell Sea has undergone three years of complete breeding failure. The colony used to be the second largest in the world for these animals, but the early breakup of sea ice for the last few years has resulted in the deaths of almost all the chicks in the colony each time. The first breakup of ice has been associated with a very stormy period in 2015, corresponding to a particularly strong El Nino event. However, another colony 55 kilometers to the south has been increasing in numbers, likely due to penguins immigrating from the collapsing colony. In the paleontology world this week, we welcome a brand new genus and species of Chordipterid oviraptorosaur, Xingchianosaurus ganchi. This new dinosaur comes from the Lower Cretaceous rocks of the Yishang Formation in China and differs from other species in a number of anatomical details. The researchers found this species to be an early diverging chordipterid that also shows a mosaic morphology, providing information on how oviraptorosaur hands evolved. Thanks to the dinosaur guy on Discord for bringing this one to our attention. Going a bit forward in time now, a study published in the journal Nature has revealed that scientists have found evidence that Homo sapiens are not the only human species to have been able to survive at the extreme levels of high mountains. The first Denisovan fossil to be found outside the Denisova cave in Siberia was uncovered in the Bayesia cave on a Tibetan mountain. The fossil was the mandible, or lower jaw, of a Denisovan and was discovered in 1980 and has just now been examined. It has long been a mystery why the Denisovan fossils from Denisova cave contained a gene that helped stop oxygen deficiency at high altitudes, but now we know why. This same gene is also found in the populations of Tibet and some neighboring countries, suggesting that modern humans gained this gene from mating with Denisovans and it being passed on. There are more Cretaceous discoveries next, as an exceptionally well-preserved crab from the mid-Cretaceous of Colombia and the US has been described. The crab displays some unique anatomies that have resulted from something called pedamorphosis, a type of development whereby some juvenile traits are attained onto adulthood, and it possesses large limbs that resemble oars, which would have helped it to swim higher up in the water column. Thank you to Nestlig20 on Discord for telling us about this paper. Thank you very much for listening to this week's 7 Days of Science. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to learn more about the wonderful life around you. And if you have, we'll see you on Sunday.